Hello, cellos. Today we're going to be continuing on to page 15 in the Essential Elements book two. And uh, there is a rhythm exercise at the top of the page that I encourage you to, to complete on your own. You're basically counting the note values and putting in some bar lines uh, where the bar lines would be. So uh, we're counting up four beats in each measure and then deciding where the bar lines would be. So I encourage you to work on that on your own. And uh, remember that um, with four beats in a measure, there's quarter note is one beat, eighth note is a half a beat each, also eighth rest, and the half note is two beats, dotted half note is three beats. Um, let's go ahead and start with the playing part. We're going to do number 62, which is let's read G sharp. And um, just so you know, the uh, violins and the basses learned a different G sharp for this exercise. So we're just reviewing the G sharp, which is the extended fourth finger on the D string. scale which starts first finger on the G string we are going to be using the extensions uh, both on the G string and on the D string for this one and um, notice they do repeat that top note so the first line is the ascending scale and the second line is the descending scale for the most part playing each note twice distort your hand so when you're doing the extension you should try and keep the the finger their hand so it is parallel to the um, the fingerboard not diagonal like this that would cause your fingers to be a little out of tune so keep your hand so it's parallel um, and then the thumb is behind the second finger um, let's go ahead and we're gonna do number 64 which is a major arpeggio It's very important that you keep that hand in the extended position when you're playing all the notes on those strings. Um, don't be playing third finger and then do the extension. That's kind of a bad habit that's going to cause you to play out of tune in the future. So keep your hand in the extended position. Just get used to it. And then finally, we're going to do Sitka City. Um, this is another Russian folk song. And this one has some accents on it. So when you see the symbol that looks like a sideways V over or under a note, that is an accent. That just means that you need to add weight at the beginning of the note and play the first part of the note louder. So we just punctuate those notes. We emphasize them. And generally, we put a little bit of separation in between them as well. So here we go. 66, sit to city. Notice this one is only two beats in a measure.
15. Um, I would encourage you to practice that last one a little bit slow to begin. And then when you get to those accented notes, they are open A's. I'm using more bow on those, so a faster bow and stopping the bow between them to put some emphasis and separation uh, between those notes. Good luck and happy practicing.